Amigos, welcome to Learn Spanish World. Today we are going to learn something very practical. Have you ever wondered how do you say how old are you in Spanish? How do you say how old are you in Spanish? Well, that's something we're going to learn today on our daily Spanish video. You also are going to learn to say what is your age. So you will be able to share with others how old you are and vice versa. Okay, so let's begin. So, in Spanish, whenever you want to ask someone's age, first thing we do, because it's a question, we actually write the question mark upside down. So this is an inverted question mark, which indicates we are just about to ask a question. ¿Cuántos años tienes? That means, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? So next time you go to a Spanish-speaking country and somebody says to you, ¿Cuántos años tienes? You'll know that person wants to know how old are you. Now, this is very interesting. This actually doesn't literally mean how old are you in Spanish. This literally means how many years do you have? Yes, that's right. You heard me. How many years do you have? That's right. ¿Cuántos años tienes? means how many years do you have? That's how you ask the age in Spanish. So ¿Cuántos años tienes? literally means how many years do you have? But translated in English, the correct translation would render it as how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Now, this word here is very interesting. The word años. That means years. Now, notice this letter here. If you watch our alphabet video, you already learned that this letter is called ñ. So, it's like an N with a little line on top of it. This letter is pronounced like a ñ. Ñ. Años. Now, a lot of English speakers have trouble with this letter when they first learn it. So it's not rare for people to ask, instead of asking, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Which means, how old are you? They tend to ask, ¿Cuántos años tienes? And trust me, you do not want to say that. We already ascertained that ¿Cuántos años tienes? means, how many years do you have? The word anos in Spanish means anus. So you wouldn't like to ask somebody, so you wouldn't want to ask someone, how many anuses do you have? So it is very important, it is imperative that you get the any pronunciation correct. So you want to ask, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Instead of ¿Cuántos anos tienes? Okay, so keeping that in mind, I thought that was very relevant. It's funny, but it is relevant because lots of people make that mistake. The uh, <laughs> stares that they get in return are really funny too. Okay, so ¿Cuántos años tienes? means how old are you? And you would respond, let's say that you are 20 years old, that is 20. You would say, Tengo 20 años. Oops. Tengo 20 años. So that means I'm 20 years old. Now, if I'm a little bit older, let's say you are 30. That is 30. This is why it's very important that you watch our um, video on numbers. This is when numbers become extremely handy. So let's say that you are 30 years old. You would say, Tengo 30 años, and so on. We'll do one more. Let's say that you are 40 years old, which is 40. Oh, I almost ran out of the space. <coughs> so you would say, Tengo 
40 años. That means I'm 40 years old. But literally speaking, once again, since in Spanish they ask you how many years do you have, you would be responding by saying, I have 40 years of age. Or I have 20 years, I have 30 years. I know it doesn't make much sense in English, but that's the way it is actually done in Spanish. Okay, so let's revise slowly. ¿Cuántos años tienes? One more time, listen to me carefully. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Once again, notice the T is very soft. It's not tienes, it is tienes. So you place your tongue behind your upper teeth. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Repeat after me, last time. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Now, don't expect Spanish speakers to say to you, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Because we both know that's not the case. They're going to talk to you very fast. They'll say, ¿Cuántos años tienes? ¿Cuántos años tienes? And you respond, Tengo 20 años. O, Tengo 30 años. Tengo 40 años. And so on. So, it's very, very important that you remember this. Particularly, as we said before, <coughs> the pronunciation of the ñ. If you haven't learned it, please um, watch our video on the Spanish alphabet, the abecedar in Spanish. It will show you how to pronounce the letters and this will help you tremendously, particularly when it comes to pronouncing tricky words such as años correctly. Alrighty, now, personal pronouns. Very important too. El, with a little accent on top of the um, E, and ella are two personal pronouns. El means he, and ella, notice double L, sounds like a J, ella means, you guessed it, she. So, if you want to ask your friend how old is, for example, a guy who is actually sitting in the corner of the room, you want to ask, hey, how old is he? How old is that guy over there? You would actually ask, ¿Cuántos años? We get rid of the S. Tiene, and you guessed it, we bring the he, el. ¿Cuántos años? Tiene él. Oops. That's better. <laughs> I almost forgot. Madre mía. Okay. ¿Cuántos años tiene él? How old is he? ¿Cuántos años tiene él? See how easy it is? Now, let's say there is a girl and you want to find out how old is this señorita, this girl, and you're a little bit shy to walk up to her and ask her, hey, how old are you? Obviously, you wouldn't do that. <laughs> So let's say that you want to ask your friend how old is this lady or this girl uh, who's just over there. So you would ask, ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? That's right. So we got él and ella. Very important personal pronouns. He and she, respectively. So we're going to do this a little bit clearer so you don't get confused. Oops, let's write this down again so it looks it's more legible. Tiene él and ella. Okay, and we put the question mark here at the end. I'm gonna use a bit of red to differentiate. Okay, so once again, you wanna find out how old is that guy over there? You would ask, ¿Cuántos años tiene él? And if you want to find out how old is that girl, the señorita, you would ask, ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? Okay? See how easy it is? And you can also replace the personal pronouns with names. So let's say that you know his name is uh, Ricky. So you would ask, ¿Cuántos años tiene Ricky? Now you know that her name is uh, Elizabeth. You could ask, ¿Cuántos años tiene Elizabeth? And so on. Alrighty, so let's revise one more time. ¿Cuántos años 
tienes? That's if you are asking the person in front of you. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Tengo 30 años. I'm 30 years old. Now, you want to ask how old is he, how old is she? Then you get rid of the S. You're asking third person. So you ask, ¿cuántos años tiene él? How old is he? ¿Cuántos años tiene ella? Okay, excellent. Perfecto. Well done. So as you can see, it's very easy to learn and you can already start asking people's ages of today if you want to practice a bit. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Uh, I will be uploading videos every single day. And as I said to you uh, on the other video, we're trying to focus uh, in small steps instead of throwing a lot of information and overwhelm you with lots of material by concentrating in little steps one thing at a time you get to master this and then you can move on to the next one you will be on your way to mastering the Spanish language but once again let me remind you it is very important it is imperative that you do practice and that you set aside at least five or ten minutes each day to revise and practice this maybe you can listen to the videos while you do other things around the house and you can just repeat and that will actually help you to uh, send all this information not to your short-term memory but to your long-term memory. In that way, you will be able to master the Spanish language. So, I hope you liked it. Please give me a like, share this video with other people that uh, may be learning Spanish. And as I said to you, every day there will be a new, brief, short video, but straight to the point, and you will be learning. This will be paving the way for you to learn to speak Spanish. Okay, have a good one, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Adios, amigos.